Neil deGrasse Tyson, am I saying his name right? Has reacted to the Indian moon landing, Chandrayaan. Neil deGrasse Tyson is going to speak on this. If you're new to the channel, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's check out what he had to say. After the Apollo missions, uh, uh, you know, people uh, stop going to the moon or looking at the moon uh, very closely. Uh, now, are we, are we picking up some real estate there? Yeah, I don't know. I just if we're candid about our my own American history, we didn't go to the moon because we're explorers and it's in our DNA. We went to the moon because we were scared of the Soviet Union. Whoa. And if they got to the moon first, they would have the high ground. What does that mean? Does that influence our safety, our democracy? So there was a lot of geopolitics going on at the time. And then when we learned they were not going to the moon, we ended the Apollo program. Okay, it's not that we lost our drive, it's that we lost the geopolitical force that was uh, that was that was sending us there in the first place. Interesting. So with that said, what are India's intentions? Is it to explore like they are explorers? Is it to advance technologically or is it political? Is it? geopolitical if anybody knows that let me know in the comments because some people are saying it's political and um some people just think that india is developing and you know um expanding the knowledge so let me know your thoughts and if you are an expert in the the case let's you know let's leave a comment right now all of these missions are peaceful so that's a good thing. And so a colony on the moon, I don't foresee people living there permanently, but you can have visiting scientists come and spend time, maybe set up telescopes across where the dark area is. I can imagine all kinds of science that would unfold there. Interesting. So yeah, I look forward to what, to what comes. You know, maybe Say again? <laughs> because that's what folklore is all about. On the oh, dark oh, side oh, moon of the aliens. Moon. <laughs> Did you say aliens on the moon? Yeah, dark side of yeah. the moon. That would, could be fun to find aliens. That would be a new form of life. So we bring biologists with us. All right. <laughs> that would be discovery. I love it. Um, I, I, I want to meet the aliens. Bring them on. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Guys, there have been many, many reports about aliens uh, lately um, saying that the, the United States has um aliens in custody and they have um at least 13 unidentified flying spaceships in their custody um all of those things do you think that's true what are your thoughts on that and also do you think this is the beginning of um inter terrestrial or inter spatial species do you think we're we're close to a, a revelation? Mr. Tyson, on a serious note, uh, how how does this really change uh, India's position on the high table in the world? You know, many people even today think India is a poor country. Uh, it's a land of elephants and snake charmers uh, um, all over. That's that's uh, sometimes uh, you know the imagery that India does draw today. That's a stereotype, you know, many people, although India is the land of um, a lot of things, it's not only that, they are not limited to that. Um, and I think this is going to put them on the map, you know, finally proving that they are the first ones to be there. Not even Japan has, um, and, and South Korea has done what they have done um nobody in the world has landed in the south of the moon so a lot of things are gonna you know i think people are gonna change their their views on india with the 
uh, Chandrayaan-3 landing uh, on, on the dark side of the moon and the fact that uh, India's Chandrayaan is uh, successful where Russia's uh, moon mission hasn't been, uh, does that really change the perception of India in the world today? So the, the uh, elephants and snake charmers, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, that's an aspect of what we learn about India, of course. But in modern times, there's the subset of the Indian population who have risen in the scientific and technological world that have borne their brilliance in the rest of what's going on in the world. There's, there's no shortage of Indians in the United States who are leaders in our tech world. So I CEOs. think in recent decades, no, Americans were not thinking of India as a place of snake charmers. No, no. Maybe 50 years ago, not today. All right. Um, uh yeah, not today. I don't think so. Um, and the fact that India is involved in every single business like Google CEO, um, not only business, but politics. We have Rishi Sunak also. Yo, I don't think India has that stereotype um, vision that everyone thinks it does. It used to be in the past, maybe, but nowadays I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't see that. Maybe it's because I I know a little bit more about India than I did two years ago, but um, I don't see that anymore. I think India has come a long way in terms of how people view. India and I think um, many things have changed I, I, I think many people have learned what India is all about um, and you know I think people can value India much more now so I agree with him in what he's saying here because I don't think um, I don't think things are as bad as it used to be in terms of stereotypes uh, some of our highest tech people have Indian roots. They may be American citizens, but they came from India. Okay. And, and they're later latter day American citizens. So we, we know the potential of the Indian population here in the United States. That's nice. my first point. Second is about the poverty. Yes. Surely you have people there saying, why are we spending money up in space when we have such abject poverty here on earth? Bro, I don't think that's even the discussion right now. I think people are asking, why are you spending 700 crores in Adipurush instead of, you know, projects like this one, which is only 600 crore? You know what I'm saying? I think that's a bigger issue right now. I don't know. <laughs> I might be wrong. That's a legitimate question to ask. But allow me to say that India had poverty before anyone spent a dime on space. Okay, so you can't look at space and say, that's why you have poverty, or you shouldn't have poverty because you have space. That, that's, those are false equivalencies. What I can tell you is, if there's any hope of raising a nation out of poverty, it's investments in science and technology. Absolutely. Yes. Every place in the world where that has happened, the economy of that nation has risen. And, and, and the base level of who you call poor has risen. So that, so India has a long way to go in that department, yes. But I know of no greater force than ambitions in space that can operate on the economy of a nation because tomorrow's economies will pivot on innovations in science and technology today. Yes, and not only that, not only space, but India is a, a very fast developing country in terms of technology um, and many other infrastructures. So it, it, it is something that will change the history of India and the economy will blow up because a lot of people will come and invest in India. When we saw the big boom of um, movies in India, many people from Hollywood and from all over the world came to India or hired Indian companies to do the visual effects. So you can see that anything that India comes out as um, 
extraordinary, skillful, and, you know, um, providing service that is as good as other countries like Hollywood, every time India proves that they can do something bigger, better, and cheaper, the whole world comes to India and starts, um, you know, investing in the country. And that's where the economy blows up. Absolutely. And just before I let you go, in the last one decade, uh, do you think India has grown in stature uh, on, the, on the global fora? I think, well, yeah, I mean, I think, I, I don't know what you think in your borders, but I, India has always been a very important country in this world. The largest democracy, now the largest country in the world, passing China in population by yeah. the latest numbers that I've seen, Amazing. and how deep and strong the culture is. But anyone who visits India is completely consumed by everything Indian there <laughs> that was retained long oh, wow. after the, the, the period of colonization from England, right? Uh, in, so, uh, and India, we finally, finally saw India in the Olympics, okay? <laughs> that was, was a shot putter. What Yes, he won the gold medal uh, for, it, was it shot putting or no, no, it was spear throwing. What, what, what's it called? What's it called? And interesting, interestingly enough, he was trained by the record breaking um, athlete. That was, I think, the, the one that has the biggest record. He was the mentor and... Um, Yo, you, if anybody has a video on that story, I don't know the details, but amazing. And it's nice that, you see, he is paying attention to India. Welcome Everyone to is. the Olympics now. Um, so there's a, there's, very, there's a lot of upside. Uh, dare I repeat and the this Oscar. earlier comment that the sky is not the limit for India. Nice. And, and it depends on how you need wise governance. And I cannot overemphasize that you want all citizens to participate in this because if the united states were today the way it was in the 1960s you would not be interviewing a black person about your space program because i had opportunities that arose over those decades that previously i was shut off from because of laws That's and legislation and attitudes so the, it's important that everybody participates Wow. You know, that is that is wise words from um, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He is basically a, a, a legend when it comes to these things. And um, it, it is nice to hear him speak about India so fondly. You know, I have been a fan of India since I watched KGF <laughs> and um, this whole channel was built because I, I fell in love with India. So right now I love um, India and everything that I have seen um, and I still need to go there. But from what I can see um, from afar, it is just a very inspiring country and it reminds me a lot of my own country and we are in it together you know brazil india we're part of the BRICS. you know um india always supports brazil when it comes to football not argentina <laughs> okay some of you you know support argentina but you know let's not talk about that but um shout out to um kerala malayalam fans um but anyways guys it, it, it's amazing to see how india has come a long way and um the future looks bright but of course i'm not in india i am not from india so i think the best person to say what india is going through now in terms of growth in terms of development the best people to talk about that would be you guys so let me know in the comments and you know how do you feel about this and are you excited for the future what do you think this means from India? And I guess that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care for now.
Bye bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me a Coffee today. Find out more, the link is in the description. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game.